Can you just introduce yourselves for us? Yeah, my name is Mons. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm Kun. Excellent. And uh, you, what is it that you guys are demonstrating here? It's a um, ultra mini PC, is that right? Yeah, it's basically a small board uh, powered by an ARM processor, but it can run a full Linux distribution. Um, the screen you're looking at now is decoding a video, but you can run a desktop on it if, if you want. It's a fairly small board. And it's uh, all running off, off this little... Yeah, it's being designed board. to show off the Texas Instruments uh, OMAP 3 CPU, uh -huh. which you're normally using in phones or other uh, appliances. Uh -huh. And now they built a small low-cost board, about $150, wow. to get it to the people so they can enjoy it for themselves. Excellent. So what would be the um, application of this? Could I buy a device with this in, or are you going to make a commercial you, device? Or? You can buy the, the board within this, mm -hmm. and TI is hoping that people, companies will pick it up and base their devices on it, because it's pretty powerful multimedia CPU. Excellent. So what, what kind of processing, like the processing power does it have? Um, what, what, um, how many megahertz is it? I think once is the... Yes, it's a 600 megahertz ARM core, the latest ARM processor which means that it's quite powerful compared to some of the earlier ARM processors may have seen in devices like the Nokia Internet tablets. Yep. So this is a step up from those. Uh, also on the chip, there is a Texas Instruments DSP running at, I believe, 400 megahertz, which is ideal for accelerating video and audio decoding. And there is also the third major part of the chip is a 3D accelerator from Imagination Tech. So you get accelerated OpenGL graphics as well. So you could have, could you run something like Compiz on this? Would it be able to do that? Yes, you could. Yeah. To my knowledge, it hasn't been done. Right. Okay. That's cool. The driver availability is sort of in the early stages still. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope to get there. Will it be used in something like ultra mobile PCs? You, know, so you could. Uh, or even mobile phones? Nokia, their, their N95, I think, is using an OMAP 3. Uh, the high-end Nokias all, are all using OMAP CPUs. And their internet tablets as well. Like probably um, use that as like a uh, Myth TV front end as well. Yeah. So they want to use it as Myth front end uh, as well. It's powerful enough to decode video. We have uh, standard def, 720p video. Okay. You can decode so. on it, and that's on the ARM side. And with DSP, you could offload that. So you could do uh, to the high def as well. There are some problems with full high def with the uh, with the video output, but yeah. in theory, you could get there. Oh, that's that's pretty cool because it's pretty small, so you could. Like build just the box and hook right. it up to your TV and use it from it. Yeah, stick it around in, yeah. in, in the, the back, back of it and you don't even see it. That's yeah, pretty neat. Cool. Cool. So you got a big bug bunny running here. On the yeah. Screen. We needed a, a legal demo to show, and it's a pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's it's short it's pretty movie. Pretty yeah, the, the blender guys did a really great job. Yeah. It looks it looks looks great as well. I mean, it has yeah. you know, like artifacts and stuff. Impressive. And it's a bit brighter than Elephant's Dream, which was a bit darker and, and, and artsy. So what's the plans for the future then? Have you got a, you know, a goal for the project? Or? The Texas Instrument guys, uh, we're just the community guys. Uh, Texas Instrument wants to sell them through a, through a distributor, so get them to lots of people, so people start developing for that CPU and have cool applications like Myth TV, mm -hmm. or an accelerated Myth TV that uses all the fancy features that would be a goal. Thanks very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you.